This is Deb from Deb Web Art. And today I wanted to road test a some paper. I recently bought this paper pad. It's Be Creative, it seems to be the brand. Um, it's uh, called Synthetic Watercolour Paper Pad for watercolours, inks and markers. So because I wanted to come up with a an ink lesson to be able to teach um, uh, you know in my art classes I thought let me try this paper and see what it's like and and then give you a rundown so initially what I've done because you know I'm, I thought oh, I'll do a bird and I found this really cute bird that I had created a little while ago just a drawing and thought that I would adapt it and use that design for the ink and so I drew in some pencil and uh, yes, it's it it was that was a lesson in itself. So <laughs> I'll show you now. Okay, so what happened was I drew in pencil. This uh, this is an HB, and I used this eraser, um, and <laughs> it kind of it because the paper has got that shininess to it. It seemed to make, when you rub out the lines, so I did the drawing and then went to rub out some lines and it just made it smudgy. So I, I thought, well, I'm not going to get too fussed by that because I don't actually mind what it looks like. I'm going to work with inks and see, do I need to have a more rubbed out outline or can I make this work? So it's, it's very much of an experiment to see what's happening. So at the moment... I have the original that I had drawn um, just with me. I have a whole lot of ink swatches so that I can, you know, pick up some colors that I may want to use. And obviously I have brushes and mark making things. Naturally, I have a stick because it's really important. Um, and um, and lots of different types of brushes and even palette knife um, that sort of thing so that's what's going on as well as obviously the um, Dale Rani acrylic inks that's what I prefer I do also have Amsterdam inks I have some art spectrum inks and um, yeah so you know I'm not too fussy I can use a collection of different inks and other mark making tools I do have a fork you know just in case you never know and uh, and a little embossing tool maybe you want to use to use make dots or something so there you go those are the things that I've got let's see how we go <music>
what did I think about um, the paper in the end? Well, it was very interesting. It had its ups and downs. <clears throat> so the finished piece is I painted the background with acrylic paint because I wanted to also see how do acrylics work on this paper. Actually, very interesting. I mean, as you would expect, because it's a synthetic paper, the uh, acrylic can scrape off. So for instance, sorry, just put that down. Um, this side is ink, okay? And this side is acrylic. And so with the acrylic, <clears throat> you can actually scratch it off. With the ink, once it's set, you can't scratch that off, okay? Um, and I think it's because of the, the plastic nature of the paper. So, so long as you're creating something, if you are doing something in acrylics, it, it does tend to seep in, like, well, it doesn't seep in, it dries fast, okay? And so you've just got to be aware of that. Um, so when doing the background of the bird, it was drying quite fast. So you can't keep going over it. You've got to just let it go and, and know that when it's dry properly, you can come back to it. Okay, so um, overall, I really liked the experience. I I want to experience it a bit more. The feel of it is really satisfying to me, um, because <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but because it's it's like it's really floppy, <laughs> and I know that's a weird thing, but but feeling it, it's it's really smooth, and so you don't actually feel where you paint it with acrylic, you don't feel the, the acrylic paint, okay? I didn't paint heavy layers, I'll be honest with you, but you don't feel the, the paint. But uh, when, it, when it comes to the actual ink, that's textural. So that I can feel, okay? The other thing that is, was interesting, so if you're doing this from a class perspective, which is what I was looking into, uh, I'm not going to use this paper for class because the ink takes a long time to dry and that is something that I have to be aware of because of the fact that you know I have a limited amount of time the ink needs to be able to dry and on this paper it really did take quite a while so um, it's good if you're just doing it for yourself and then you are needing the ink to remain open a little bit longer so you can move things around. That's a really good thing. But when it comes to teaching, you're wanting the ink to dry faster. So in that instance, I would have to use a different paper. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you know how that paper went. So let me just tell you again. It's <clears throat> Be Creative, Synthetic Watercolor Paper Pad. It's Australian made, um, s and &S Creativity Lim Unlimited, so SNS Wholesale. So give it a go if it's something that's, you know, been on your radar, but it's, it's definitely an interesting paper. All right, well, I hope you had fun and um, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.